So you're off on your first Caribbean cruise. Well, your ship is going to take you to many wonderful scheduled islands. And it's easy access to beautiful other Caribbean islands like the Quay and Mystique. So how does immigration work for you to be able to step onto all these beautiful islands or into all these historic towns? A stone's throw from the ship, we found the church, the square, and now we're going to look at the market. Welcome to Martinique, famous for its beautiful beaches. You will be given a cruise card once your immigration onto the ship takes place. The cruise card acts for payment on the ship for anything you wish to purchase, as well as getting in and out of the port and on and off of the ship. At the eastern end of the town, jutting out into the bay, is Fort St. Louis. You're not at the beach yet. Immigration is not at Barbados Airport. Buses will meet you on the runway at the airport and take you to your next location. This is where you'll come to queue to get your cruise card. This is immigration. You'll need your passport, booking details, the signed medical questionnaire they give you, and an agreed method of payment for the floating hotel you're about to be on. And they'll take your picture. Each plane will come in at a different time if things have worked correctly. If not, the queue could be very long. I wouldn't worry about your luggage arriving. I'd leave the ship and explore through the cruise terminal, and if it's a Friday and you're in Barbados, off to Oysters for fish night, which starts about six o'clock. See the Doris Visits film on Oysters. After your holiday's finished, your flight timetables will be displayed on screens. Enjoy your cruise. And don't forget to follow Doris Visits for information, guides on tours and towns for every major cruise stop in the world.